Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So in today's episode, our prayers have been answered because we got a wall of text from Leviathan. So it's my goal with today's episode to work through some of his masterful advice so that we might be able to take down Skeletron Prime. I don't know why he's causing me such issues. I've beaten him in death mode. I've beaten him in Revengeance mode, but it just seems this time around, he's had a slight tweak and, uh, and I'm rubbish. So yeah, so we're going to work through it. So the first thing Leviathan recommends is a Worm Scarf, Titan Scale, and Endurance Potion. So we've already got that covered. And then we have to get the Frog Leg and the Moab. This is going to be hard. So let's see about the Frog Leg. I don't know if you can make one of these bad boys, um, but that's what today's all about. Today is all about finding out what we can make and making it. Frog leg. Ten frogs. Wow. Well, that makes sense. That's fair. Now, the Moab, though. This is a... Uh... Man, that is a combination of stuff. That really is. You need the bundle of balloons. <laughs> and that's the hardest bit. The bundle of balloons. Can you craft the bundle of balloons? I'm sure you can. So, you got to make sandstorm in a bottle. And then to get that, you need the... Um... Well, you need more balloons. Can you make balloons? Oh, you totally can make balloons. Oh, right. Well, that makes it a little bit easier. So I guess the first thing we need to make, literally, is a bunch of balloony boys. Now, I don't know if I keep my gel in here, so I'll have a little check. Gel. Ah, well, all right, I do. Okay. And can I make string from here? I can. Nice. One, two, three. All right. Let's see if I can make some balloons. I guess I only need two. Hmm. I don't know if I have the, uh, the block, the sky block. That's what I'm thinking block um no i'm gonna need to grab some of that right well the convenient thing is is that because of the fact that we have this permanent gravity potion we can just fly on up how are you all doing today I I'm, I'm excited for today i'll tell you why it's uh it's gonna be a long day for me and this is why i'm actually recording super early today so today is thursday and in britain on sunday is Mother's Day, right? Which basically means, I don't know what it means, I don't know when they came up with this, but you basically buy your mum some flowers and you say hello. Now, I don't live at home anymore, as I speak about quite regularly. I live, like, quite far away now, so I can't go home on Sunday, because I'm actually super busy. I've got something else planned. So, my goal is, is I've got to drive to wherever I'm going today, and then we're off to bingo, because that's going to be my, uh, my Mother's Day gift. Because when I was a kid, me and my mum would uh, would go to bingo all the time. And uh, it was because in the town we used to live in, they used to do this thing every like Friday and Saturday where it was like free bingo. So I think you could make like a donation. It was all for charity. And then you won some like, I don't know, you won like a stationery kit. It was a good laugh. And uh, and a lot of kids used to go. It was a lot of fun. But now when I, <laughs> I'm an adult. They have this thing called prize bingo, which is essentially gambling. <laughs> So you pay to get in, you pay for like tickets and stuff, and then after you've paid, you can like maybe win some money. So we don't go very often, because it's like, I have no interest in gambling. I've got no interest in winning money either. The second I buy that ticket, I'm like, alright, that's my fee to get in, that's me good. So that's what I'm doing today, I'm off to, uh, I'm off to bingo. It's a proper old person thing to do. I mean, we constantly talk about the fact that I'm probably 45. <laughs> It, mentally, mentally. <laughs> I am actually 22. You're not all being catfished, I swear. But uh, that's what I'm doing. I can't wait. The only problem is, is I've got to go, uh, I've got to go fill my tires up in my car. I've never filled tires in a car, like, ever before. Nobody ever taught me to do it. And now I need to learn how to do it. Why can't I make this? Solidifier. Really? Solidifier. Oh, I've got three of them. All oh, right. Oh, that's strange. I don't know why you would need a... I guess so you don't make it too early, I guess. Huh. That is strange, though. Alright, so I need two of these. So I'll take one and two. And then, so, which one have I got? Because I've already got a balloon, haven't I? I've already got one of these balloony boys. Um, I have the warding horseshoe in a balloon. Ca oh, I don't think you can make it, can you? Using uh, Using this, I think you have to... Yeah, you can't. Oh, you'd have to deconstruct it. Right, so I've got to make all of the other ones from scratch. So, I'm guessing you would need to make it is a lot of bottles. So, the clown and the balloon, yeah, right. 
Let's see which ones I can make. Right. Cloud. So I can make that one. That one's done. Now let's do sandstorm. Let's see if I can just make that. Nope. And what's the what's the other one? Blizzard. Blizzard in a bottle. Blizzard in a bottle. Do I already have one? I don't think I do. Alright, so let me combine all these. This is going to take a while. Okay, uh, well, I need to slap all of this bad boy in here. I had to go in a different world because I needed desert feathers. And, uh, and because ours is corrupted, there was no chance of getting them. And I also needed fresh sand. So I should be able to make it now. Sandstorm in a bottle. Right, let's see. So, balloon. Okay, um... Why can't I make these? What do you need? Tinkerer's Workshop. Ah, okay. Do I have one in the chest? I do. Nice. I haven't been put like... I need to make sure I put these in because one day I'm just going to completely mess up an entire episode not realizing. Uh, so, balloony boys. Let's see. Cloud and a balloon. Got. Got. And what's the other one? Blizzard and a thingy? Oh. Oh, yeah. I need to make another balloon. That's right. A uh, balloon. Okay, one more of these, and then I can make this, and then I can make the bundle of balloons. Thank God for mods, man. Because if you were doing that legit, there's, there's sometimes there's no chance that you would ever get that. Right, so let's have a little look at what we need. The only thing is, we need a, uh... Yeah, we need a lucky horseshoe, and the only problem is I don't have one. Can you make one? Oh, man, they've come up with everything. Oh, sky plate block. I don't know if I have that. Uh, let's see. Horse... Yeah, I knew I didn't. I'll go get that in a minute. Oh, you also need gold bars, so... Gold bars. Uh, let's make a bunch of them. Oh, I actually... All oh, right, I had them anyway. What else do you need for the Moab? You need a jetpack and the frog leg. So, do you get frogs in the jungle? I have a strong feeling you get them in the jungle. Um, let's get my bug net out. Right, I'll go collect some frogs anyway. This shouldn't take too long. Uh, and then once I've got my frogs, we'll craft it all together. And then we need to move on to step two, which I believe is the Rod of Discord, which we should probably have anyway. Because the Rod of Discord is kind of crucial in the Calamity mod. Thank God. So it turns out that farming for frogs, <laughs> which is a funny thing to say, farming for frogs takes quite a while. I even went onto a different world to see if I could uh, maybe like sway the spawn rate because we're in hard mode here. No, <laughs> I can't. I think it's because I've got a mod that adds uh, little critters in. And I think the little critters themselves, they outweigh the uh, the frogs. So I'm getting monkeys instead of frogs. Now, I could deal with monkey legs. Because I feel like monkey legs would be quite good. Although, actually, when you see a monkey, he's always kind of squatted down a little bit. Maybe he's got bad knees. So I'm fishing instead. So I thought I would use this time to actually talk about uh, the book that I mentioned yesterday. So I started reading it last night. It's called Supermarket. It's by Bobby Hall, i.e. Logic the Rapper, who's had like mainstream hits such as Black Spider-Man and uh, 1-800. Um, and it's all right. I, I like, I read a good quarter of it, I would say. Um, I'm not really warming up to it as much as I, as I wanted to, but I think it's because of his writing style. And this is going to sound like a proper know-it-all thing to say. Please trust me, it's not. I just used to uh, to analyze books as part of my like uh, my A level, and I did that for two years. So every time I read a book now, I analyze it in my head, which I wish I didn't do. Truthfully, it's kind of like when you get really into movies, and uh, and when you're really into movies, you start like looking at every little frame, and you're like, oh, I really like the colors here. I wonder why they've used these colors. Blah blah blah. Here's the problem I don't like about the book. And it's actually something I do in real life all the time. But it's the way it's written. It has this emphasis on, like, giving too many examples. So it will go, oh, I was going for a job interview and I saw this woman. This woman looks like the kind of woman who would drive this car and smoke this cigarette and, and do this. And it's like, well, I like that you're adding backstory. You know, a little bit of context to what you're seeing. But... You're going a step too far. And the best the best way to explain that is, there's one point where he says, I saw a man, he was six foot one, he had like strange eyebrows, black hair, and wrinkles on his forehead like Hugh Laurie. So like, you're like, okay, cool, Hugh Laurie, I get the reference. And then he goes, the dude who plays house. And then he starts talking about Hugh Laurie in the house. And it's like, I didn't need you to say who Hugh Laurie was. You know, it's like, 
tone it back a little bit. But this is, it's not like, it's not like an author mistake. It's simply because the book is written in first person. So it's from the perspective of the guy who wrote the book, which is not logic, if that makes sense. And it's him that's making these mistakes because he's talking like a normal conversation. Here's the other thing I'm, I'm not too keen on. And once again, this isn't the book's fault. This is like, a, it's a me thing. I don't like reading books when I don't like the person in the book I'm reading about. For example, I don't know if any of you have ever read The Catcher in the Rye. But uh, I don't like that book as much as a lot of people. And it's simply because the main protagonist, Holden Caulfield, the guy who like walks around New York or wherever he's walking around. I haven't read it in years. He's very unlikable. Like, I don't like him. <laughs> so I read it and I'm like... It's like listening to the thoughts of someone you don't like. And you're like, well, I don't really care about your thoughts. Does that make sense? Once again, I know that sounds um, like a proper know-it-all thing to say. Trust me, I do. Right. Uh, I didn't get my frog legs. So I'm just going to uh, continue fishing away. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I don't think I've ever had this happen to me while I've just been, uh, while I've just been fishing. I got a king slime fight. What? I forget that King Slime can spawn naturally, you know, because it's so infrequent. Like, who actually spends a lot of time in this part of the world? Oh god, I've frozen him. Wow. Nice. <laughs> oh god. Right, well, let me carry on. It's almost getting quite late in the day. I need to head off to bingo. <laughs> so I'm like, frog legs, can you hurry up, please? But I've got my fishing power up quite a bit. If I change the time, I'm going to do this in a second. But as, like, the sun changes, it affects your fishing power. So, for example, if I do that, it's now up to 99, which is great, right? So, I guess that's, like, one advantage I can take use of. So, with 99, it's 1 in 250. So, I'm just like, can you hurry up? What, what the good thing about this, by the way, is I've got to, like, stop recording soon. And I've got to go to bingo, right? So when I come back, I can tell you all if I won any money. So you all know the uh, the downfalls of bingo. Because you get there, man. Let me tell you, you get there. And there are some serious gamblers there. Like, I um, I remember the first time I went, I won, right? I can't remember how much I won. It was a good amount. And it was on my first time playing. Like, the first ever, like, board or whatever. And this guy comes up to me and he goes, Yeah, well, you only won that because it's your first time here. And I'm like, what? It's like, it's your, it's your first time here, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, but I was like, how, how would you know that? And he was like, wow, I've never seen your face around here, mate. I'm here every day. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so not only is he like there every day, he's also like, he probably thinks he's lost out in the game because of my uh, my beginner's luck. Crazy, isn't it? Gambling's a real problem. You guys got to be careful with that. Don't do any scratch cards. I don't do scratch cards. I don't do lottery tickets. I literally don't do anything like that. It's, oh, it's all such a waste of money. It is. It really is. But bingo, though. <laughs> but bingo. Nah, man. That's that's investment. <laughs> oh, my God. Frog legs. <laughs> I just want frog legs. All right. This is the last one we'll do. God, this, this fishing feels like gambling. It's tuna. Oh, all right. Hopefully, we get it soon. All right. So, I'm back from bingo uh if you want to know the total amount won i spent 26 pounds and i won in total zero pounds and zero pence so i hope everybody learned a life lesson and also don't buy lottery tickets or scratch cards so that being said i came back i did my fishing and i also took the time to fish for some chaos fish which i almost completely forgot about for the run of discord so it kind of worked out well that I'd built upon myself a nice fishing build. So I got all that, and then I had to wait for a steampunker to move in. Her name is Whitney. Uh, so that's it, right? That's everything that we need, I believe. Uh, Leviathan also recommended a... Oh, God. Golden Shower. The weapon. He recommended that. So I went down to my alchemist NPC. I got some i uh, I also got a book off the wizard. So I think it's time to make the Golden Shower once again. FBI, it's just a weapon, all right? Let's go down here. Let's also make, before we do that, the spear, because he recommended this as well, the spear of Palliath. Oh, I haven't got enough. <laughs> That's fishing crates for you. Four bars. Thank you very much, fishing. Uh, so he recommended this for the destroyee. 
Um, and then he also recommended this for Skeletron Prime. Now, I don't personally rate this weapon very well. Um, so maybe it's a little bit better. So let's move over to Rogue. Now, we need to buy... Ah, right. It's during the night, isn't it? She sells it during the night. Ooh, no. Different night cycle, maybe? I love the day bloom changing at the bottom. You sell it now? No? Uh, no? Does this change the uh, the moon pattern or not? Because I have no idea. I swear it has to do with the moon pattern. Hey! Hey, what else does she... What's she restricting once she sells this? A static hook. I don't believe I've ever bought the static hook. I know what it is. Because I remember seeing it in the trailer back in the day. But I've never... Um... Oh, I just realized some... Uh... I made um, a mechanical eye... Instead of a mechanical skull. I don't know if I have enough stuff for it now. Oh, no. What am I missing? Oh, which... Is it just bars? Stored items, ingredients. What am I missing? Is it bone? Bony boys? Is it souls of night? Let's have a little look. Mechanical skull. Alright, let's check how many bones I've got. Uh, bones? How many bones have I got? 100 and... So what am I missing? Is it the souls? Oh, I don't have enough souls. Um, well you can have those. Yeah, alright. I could probably make one now. Uh, let's see. Ah! Hey! Mechanical skull. So that's the one we need to do. So technically we need to be all three, but if we have the souls of fright, then we're good to go. Alright, anyway, let's bang this in here. This is definitely a crafting episode. I like crafting episodes. I think they're fun. Um, I just put that into there, didn't I? Yep. Uh, let's see. I've already made up the um, the lucky horseshoe. So I might be able to make a Moab now. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. We've got the Moab. So we can replace our wings with the Moab. And then he also recommended the scarf. Now, I know it's been reduced in damage or whatever. You know, it's not as good. But if it's recommended by Leviathan, I'm going to take it. And it also has warding as well. Oh, you meant to are you meant to pair up the wings and the thingy? So if I was to do this, are you meant to pair them up together? Why can't they go on? Oh, oh, the Moab counts as wings, so you can only use one or the other. Huh? I don't know. If... I thought this was going to be like really, really mad, but it doesn't seem that way. I guess it is, but I guess it's kind of not at the same time. But if I was to use the what was that thing that we got? The the aero stone, I think it was called. Stone. Uh what does this do? Increases movement speed by 10, jump speed by 200 percent So if I did this. Oh, I kinda like that. That kind of works a little bit better. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Alright, so I think I've got everything I need. I've got my Prisma line, and I've also got all the buffs that were recommended. And I've got my skull, and I've got my uh, my golden shower, FBI. It's just a weapon. Um, yeah, go on then. We'll give it a go. Oh, I feel nervous now. Oh, I didn't make the rod of discord. There we go. I knew I was missing something. I knew something felt wrong. Right. Okay, so let me do that. So I've got... Wait, let me do that. So I've got this, and I've also got mad jump height and everything like that. Okay, now let's go over to the arena, which is over here. God, man, I, I am like fumbling over myself now because I'm like worried about like um, failing. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm like, well, I spent a long time working on Leviathan's guide, man. I don't want to let him down. <laughs> if you don't know who Leviathan is, by the way, this, this all must sound really mental. Leviathan is... A YouTube channel, a person, obviously, but he's a YouTube channel that's dedicated to doing, like, really impressive things with games. So it's not only Terraria. He can, like, take a game and do it like a uh, like a madman, do some crazy setups and stuff. That's Leviathan, in case you're all wondering. Okay, and let's see here. Right, we're just torching this bad boy up. 
Nice. God, you see the way I ran over those enemies? Okay, that's actually pretty sick. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think the last time we tried the Prisma line, it was before we got the uh, the Rogue upgrade. Alright. Buff up. We'll wait for our health to heal up. And then we shall begin. Alright, let's begin. Okay, where's he at? Okay. Let's see if I can do this. I might be and I might not be that good. <laughs> Truthfully. Oh god. Oh god. I'm really struggling. <laughs> I am actually really struggling with this. Oh no, I don't want to be using that. I want to be using this. Oh wow. It is actually pretty good. I think I wanna um Oh god. Yeah, this is really hard with this build. <laughs> You can tell it's a Leviathan build, because it's actually kind of challenging to use. <laughs> I'm going to have to be quiet. I am, actually. I'm so sorry. It's good. I can't concentrate and do both. Alright, I died. Yeah, it wasn't working for me. I don't know why. Because um, I'm naff, probably. I do want to try it again, though, um, because I feel like it might be like a trick of just getting used to the momentum and stuff. I've still got enough buffs, so I could just totally go again. So I'm going to make another skull and give it another crack. Oh my god. So, I don't know if you saw that, but right at the end, it just had this, like... I don't know, it just came speed randomly. Man, they've really made that fight a lot harder than it used to be. Oh my god. That was brutal. I spent ages on that fight, too. It's almost daytime. Oh, is that what it was? Did I make... Oh, is it daytime? Actually, yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, it was daytime. Right, okay. I take that back completely. So I, I wasn't doing enough damage. I did the whole night fight. Oh man, I'm a little bit good. <laughs> I'm out of money. No. Oh, that sucks. There's nothing more demotivating when it's like, oh, I'm just going to do it again. Oh, you out of money fam. God, that's right. Well, um, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode at least. Uh, what I'll do is tomorrow we'll redo the whole fight. Hopefully do it a little bit better. But I hope you've enjoyed like hanging out with me today and watching me fish and and talk about bingo and books. Definitely a, a very varied episode in terms of topics. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and if you could, give it a big fat thumbs up. Peace.